So after you updated to Photoshop CC 21.2 or the June 2020 Photoshop CC 2020 update, if you updated and you're getting some strange funky things happening to your layers while you're editing, you are going to want to check this out. So if your layers are acting funky, like when you try to move something and it doubles or duplicates or you're playing with blend modes and they aren't working properly and it's driving you mad. So you go to delete that layer and it deletes both of those layers like it's happening to me right now. If that's happening to you, you're going to want to go up to edit, go to preferences and then hit right here into performance and uncheck this box that says legacy compositing. Okay, uncheck it and then press OK. And now what you'll find is that everything works as normal. So why is this? Well, this is probably only for us Photoshop veterans who are before Photoshop CC 2020 or the 21.2 update that just recently updated. Now, that checkbox, that legacy composition checkbox would fix a lot of problems when we transferred from CC 2018 to 2019. Well, here we are in 2020. So here's my assumption as to why this is happening. Okay, so now with the new Photoshop CC 2020, from change to change or version to version, they keep all of your preferences the same. So I'm pretty sure Adobe fixed all of the problems that we were having with compositing in 2018 to 2019 in this 2020 update. But because our legacy compositing button was already checked from CC 2019, it transitioned into CC 2020 and threw us back into a world of hurt. Okay, so if you're one of those people who's getting these weird blend mode things or layers moving around that shouldn't be moving around and on top of each other, you're going to want to check that setting. It's pretty simple. Edit preferences, go to performance, and then uncheck that box that says legacy compositing. When Adobe updated CC 2020, they also updated Adobe Camera Raw, and I've got a whole slew of videos waiting for you in this playlist right here. So go ahead and click that, and you'll see all of the cool changes of Adobe Camera Raw 12.3 that came with your Adobe 2020 update. That's all from me today, Blake Rudis with F64 Academy, where we learn to master Photoshop to make better photographs. This is Photoshop for photographers. Check out these other videos here.